I'm Patty Prelock, Provost and Senior Vice President here at the University of Vermont, and I want to welcome everyone to this very wonderful celebration on this very rainy day. Not typical of January in Vermont, is it? <laughs> um, and as you can see, I'm wearing green and gold because today's Green and Gold Friday. What a better day than to celebrate the amazing donation and contribution that the Howards made and to honor Dr. Hare. So I'm really pleased to welcome all of you joining us, both here in the Health Gallery, as well as those of you who are online, um, to take part in the University of Vermont's most special academic traditions, and that is the Endowed Faculty Investiture Ceremony. Dean Page is watching online. Hello, Rick. Um, and he really sends his regrets and wishes that he could be here. And I was thrilled that he asked me if I would step in and take his place. So this afternoon, we have the pleasure of recognizing and celebrating Professor of Neurology, Dr. Michael Hare, in, as the inaugural holder of the James F. Howard Jr. Professorship in Neuromuscular Disorders. We are privileged to have several special guests joining us to mark this special occasion, including UVM President Suresh Garamella, um, whom you will hear from shortly, also in attendance is um, Jason Sanders, Senior Associate Dean for Clinical Affairs and President and CEO of the UVM Health Network Medical Group, Dr. Noma Anderson, Dean of the College of Nursing and Health Sciences. Thank you for joining us. And I know Steve Leffler, the um, President and Chief Operating Officer of the UVM Medical Center was hoping he could be here. He might stop by, but as you know, he has important business that he has to take care of. Also with us is Monica DeLisa, who is our um, president and CEO of the UVM Foundation. And Monica represents a terrific team whose work has been crucial in helping the Larner College of Medicine establish endowed professorships like this one, as well as supporting so many of its other initiatives. And we welcome Dr. Gregory Holmes, um, who's the chair of the Department of Neurological Sciences here at the University of Vermont, who will also have a chance to say a few words later this afternoon. This endowed professorship was established through the generosity of UVM graduates, Dr. James F. Howard Jr. and Adrian, better known as Ricky Howard. We are so privileged and so glad to have them here with us to honor and celebrate Dr. Hare. Dr. Hare serves as Division Chief of Neuromuscular Medicine and Program Director of the Neuromuscular Medicine Training Fellowship here at the University of Vermont Medical Center. His colleague and chair, Dr. Holmes, will tell us much more about, about Dr. Hare in just a little bit. The endowed professorship that we bestow upon Dr. Hare today honors Dr. James F. Howard Jr., who is known as Chip, to his friends. He was born in Bellows Falls, Vermont in 1948, and early on set his sights on a career in medicine. He earned his bachelor's degree from UVM in 1970 and his medical degree from the University of Vermont College of Medicine in 1974. Dr. Howard completed an internship in internal medicine at the Albany Medical Center Hospital and a residency in neurology at the University of Virginia Hospital. He went on to become a research associate in neuromuscular disease at the University of Virginia School of Medicine. He became an assistant professor of neurology and medicine at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill in 1979 and was promoted to associate professor in 1985 and full professor in 1992. Dr. Howard also holds an endowed professorship, and um, he's the former James F. Howard Distinguished Professor of Neuromuscular Disease and the prior chief of the Neuromuscular Disorder Section at Chapel Hill. As the past holder of an endowed professorship, Dr. Howard knows firsthand how important these positions are for supporting a strong, productive faculty. In 2003, a professorship was, an endow was endowed in Dr. Howard's honor in recognition of the exceptional care he provided to a patient. A practicing neurologist for more than 40 years, 
with a focus on myasthenias gravis and other neuromuscular disorders, Dr. Howard is a leading expert in the field and has written more than 110 abstracts, 150 articles, 35 book chapters, and three books, while also taking care of a lot of patients and a wonderful family. He was the 2019 recipient of the European Academy of Neurology Investigator Award and is a member of the NIH-funded Rare Disease Clinical Research Network, MGNET. By all accounts, he is a dedicated, innovative, humble, and caring colleague and a visionary neuromuscular physician who cares deeply about his patients. To demonstrate their commitment to exceptional medical care, Dr. Howard and his wife, Ricky, who is a graduate of our nursing program here at UVM, step forward to endow this professorship. Endowed positions such as this are among the highest honors the University of Vermont can bestow upon a faculty member. Investing in outstanding faculty members with endowed chairs and professorships allows the university to recognize and celebrate academic achievement and to further encourage scholarship, service, and clinical excellence. Endowed faculty positions are a tribute to the holder and a permanent legacy for the donors who established them. Name chairs and professorships help ensure the quality and strength of our faculty for years to come, while clearly reflecting the interests and hopes of the donors who establish and support them. Endowed professorships and chairs are also important in recruiting and retaining the most creative researchers, the most effective teachers, the best clinicians, and the finest leaders. Exceptional faculty members like Dr. Hare in turn create a dynamic and engaging environment that attracts outstanding students and colleagues. So no pressure, Dr. Hare, but we expect you to be here for a long time and continue your mentorship and service. For all these reasons, on behalf of the university and the Larner College of Medicine, I am tremendously grateful for this gift from Dr. Howard and Ricky. I know that it will further their legacy of caring and service for generations to come. And now it's my great pleasure to introduce my president, Suresh Garamella, to offer his thoughts on this investiture. Please join me in welcoming him. Thank you, Patty. Um, this is one of Rick's most uh, favorite things to do. So I know he's missing being here but I understand he's watching. So Rick, um, we'll uh, sort of manage in your absence. So uh, let me join uh, Patty Prelock in thanking all of you for being here on this beautiful day. It's a bit dreary outside, but, uh, but the, the room um, is, is, is warm and, uh, and, and in, in great spirits. So um, I just want to thank everyone who, uh, who took the effort to come here today. Um, and, and certainly uh, we're all here to express our support for our wonderful colleague, uh, Mike Hare, and, uh, and of course, celebrate the great vision and generosity of Adrian and Chip Howard, Ricky Howard. So as you know, the College of Medicine celebrated its 200th anniversary in 2023. That's a big, that's a big step. And I cannot think of a better way to kick off the next 200 years than with this very generous uh, gift. So yours is the first of the season, and uh, may may this uh, be the start of many, many more such recognitions for our faculty and for the great research that happens here. Our faculty are at the heart of everything. You should know this. I know, I know you both feel this. Um, UVM is what its faculty are, and, uh, and I, as, as president, it gives me great pleasure to be at events like this and recognize our faculty. Um, so I'm pleased to recognize Dr. Michael Hare um, for his exceptional scholarship, for his teaching and for his clinical care that make him a deserving recipient of your generosity. UVM's land grant mission, which I think you've all heard me talk about, uh, is really at its core a social contract. It's a contract that we will do the best we can for our community, and what better example than what the Lana College of Medicine does in terms of supporting our 
community through its clinical care, through the research, through the teaching. And so because we are among the oldest land grants in the state that Senator Justin Morrill, who signed the land, who, who wrote the Land Grant Act, uh, came from, I think the Lana College of Medicine has an especial place in my heart and in the importance of the mission of um, the university. Uh, we're certainly, we, we play a great part in strengthening our communities uh, across Vermont and really globally with all the research that's done. Uh, the Lana College of Medicine's investment in, in its faculty and in, in developing the next generation of clinicians and researchers and, and practitioners uh, is among the most important ways that this land grant mission is uh, uh, that we fulfill it. And so outstanding faculty, of course, like Dr. Hare, are at the at the center of that mission and how we deliver on it. So um, I'm I'm just very pleased with the Howard's philanthropic uh, uh, contributions to us that allow us to fulfill our land grant mission. Um, of course, we look forward, like Patty said, to the many ways in which this kind of support advances Mike's uh, research and, and his many contributions. Um, if you haven't heard lately, the university's research profile and, and, and uh, impact are growing massively. We have doubled our research funding in the last four years or so. Um, and the Lana College of Medicine has always been at the center of the research um, sort of landscape at, at the university. What has been great to see is that the other colleges at, at the university have uh, sort of been inspired by this, grown with the college, and um, and where the Lana College used to be, most of the funding we got, now it's about 50%, not because it's gone down, but because all the others have grown. So it's just very gratifying to see the leadership that the Lana College of Medicine has brought to the research funding landscape at the university. And um, you know our entrepreneurship is growing, our commercialization is growing, and I hope you'll be proud of uh, the contributions that your generosity makes uh, for the future as well. So um, the, uh, the research that Mike Hare does is certainly an important example because uh, it pairs innovative approaches with effective clinical practices. And, and so the applications to, uh, to support patients is, uh, is, is so very important that, that it actually is translated into that work. And it's exciting to contemplate the ways that this professorship will benefit students and patients for centuries to come. That's one of the nice things about endowments that Michael Hare is the, is the inaugural recipient, but there'll be many more that come after and the name will continue and the contributions will continue. So Chip and Adrian, on behalf of the entire university community, our trustees, all of our colleagues, um, and the generations of Larner students to come, please accept our thanks for your generosity um, and, and, and really the vision that you bring. Uh, your own work is so very important in my senior gravis, as we discussed, and, and I understand uh, Mike also works in that area. And Dr. Hare, I'm proud to congratulate you for your great work. And, uh, and for you to be joining the growing ranks of our endowed professorships. I look forward to celebrating your successes in the coming years and all you will contribute. So, and I wanna acknowledge that uh, Mike's family is here. And so we're glad that we can celebrate with all of them too. Thank you all for coming. Thank you so much, President Garamella. And now please join me in welcoming a person who has known and worked with Dr. Hare for many years while serving as the chair of his department, Dr. Gregory Holmes. Great, uh, thank you. And thank you, President Garamella and Provost Prelock uh, for your, your comments, really greatly appreciate it. And thanks everyone here for coming. Uh, this is really an important event for uh, our department. And most of all, thanks to Chip and Ricky for this donation. It's uh, really meaningful. So uh, Michael K. Hare uh, is the, the recipient of the James F. Howard Jr. Professorship of Neuromuscular uh, Disorders. Uh, he did his undergraduate work at uh, Princeton, uh, went to the University of Rochester School of Medicine for his MD. Uh, then went to the University of Virginia, which is uh, often referred to as the UVM of the South, 
uh, to do his uh, uh, neuro, um, uh, do neurology, and then he went back to the University of Rochester to do clinical neurophysiology in neuro, a neuromuscular fellowship. Uh, Dr. Bob Hamill, who's here today, recruited uh, um, um, Dr. Hare to UVM in 2011, where he quickly uh, rose to the academic ranks, uh, becoming Professor of Neurological Sciences in 2023. Uh, since 2016, uh, Dr. Harris serves as the Division Chief of Neuromuscular Medicine and Director of the Neuromuscular uh, Fellowship uh, in our department. Under his leadership, the Neuromuscular uh, Medicine Division has uh, developed an excellent regional, national, and international uh, reputation, uh, greatly due to his uh, efforts. Uh, the, the division is really recognized uh, throughout the world for clinical care in myasthenia gravis, ALS, myopathies, uh, and chemotherapy-induced uh, peripheral neuropathies. Uh, he's expanded the neuromuscular uh, faculty. Uh, he's mentored fellows. Uh, he's recruited from excellent training programs. Uh, he's maintained a center of excellence in subspecialty areas as myasthenia gravis and uh, ALS. Uh, he's, uh, he's an outstanding teacher. Uh, teaches at all levels, students, uh, medical students, residents, undergraduates, fellows, uh, both at the bedside and didactic sessions. He's won uh, numerous awards over his career, including the UVM Robert Hamill Neurology Faculty Teaching Award in 2014. Uh, as mentioned, he's the uh, Neuromuscular Fellowship Director, which has uh, uh, done extremely well under his leadership and he's members of the clinical competency committees for uh, neurology and uh, clinical neurophysiology. Uh, and he's involved in committees of this sort, both uh, at UVM and uh, in national organizations. Uh, his mentors are incredible. His mentees are incredible and have published, uh, you know, internationally as well as uh, national uh, uh, meetings. And he really is a very strong advocate for junior faculty, uh, residents and uh, medical students. He's been active in, the, in developing the curriculum here at UVM, but also on a national organization standpoint with the American Association of Neuromuscular and Electrodiagnostic Medicine in the Myasthenia Gravis Foundation of America, uh, and is also involved in the American Academy of Neurology uh, as far as their neuromuscular mentorship committee. And he's very engaged in community uh, education and teaching um, uh, patients. His uh, intellectual contributions to the field have been extraordinary. Uh, he has uh, received continuous funding since he's been here at UVM. Uh, his research is focused on myasthenia gravis. Uh, and as we heard today, for those who attended uh, the grand rounds from Dr. Howard, uh, this is a disorder that results in significant morbidity and mortality. So he's really studying a very important uh, disorder and has made major contributions into our knowledge base his research has improved diagnostic and treatment approaches, and he's working on uh, innovative tools for clinicians to monitor treatment and, and medication uh, side effects. He's the PI on two ongoing grants. He's uh, published close to 50 peer review articles and many abstracts. Uh, if you look at his papers, um, he's highly collaborative. He's got uh, colleagues throughout the uh, country uh, and the world serves on many um, uh, reviews for seven medical journals. Uh, he was recently a guest editor on the myopathy and neuromuscular junction issue of uh, on Continuum, which is really a widely read um, publication from the American Academy of Neurology. Uh, and he is just internationally recognized uh, thought leader in neuromuscular uh, disease. In 2016, he received the Myasthenia Gravis Foundation of America's Physician of the Year Award in recognition for his work in this uh, field. Uh, he has had leadership uh, roles in uh, the muscle uh, study group of the American Association of Neuromuscular and Electrodiagnostic Medicine, as well as in the American Academy of Neurology. He serves on the regional chapter for the Myasthenia Gravis Foundation of America uh, and has been on uh, numerous nine, uh, national scientific uh, uh, boards. He has served on many committees, both within our department uh, and then within UVM, uh, and he currently is a co-chair of our research uh, uh, committee. Um, on a personal note, Mike was uh, incredibly helpful to me when I was uh, recruited here to UVM, um, uh, when Rod Parsons, who is also here today um, uh, from Anatomy and Neurobiology and uh, Bob Hamill from Neurology, when those two departments combined to become our new uh, Department of Neurological Sciences. 
he was a handful of uh, clinicians, um, leaders in our department who I could really count on uh, during periods when um, things did not go well, when we faced a cyber uh, attack uh, during COVID. Uh, Mike was always there. Uh, he's a clear thinker, uh, problem solver, and uh, trustworthy, and uh, just a wonderful person to work and lead. And I, I really uh, value his uh, membership in our department as well as everyone else. So uh, clearly, uh, Dr. Hare is deserving of James F. Howard Jr. Professorship in Neuromuscular uh, Disease, and I think he's going to do you proud uh, for his work. So thank you. Okay, we're just regrouping to determine who's reading the citation and who isn't. <laughs> I think I could read it. Yeah. All right. Um, okay. Hmm. That's okay. Hey, Mike, if you would come up. Okay, well, this, I suppose I was, the issue came up as I'm supposed to read a citation, none of which could find it. So I, I think it's my fault. So, but Mike. That's all right. Mike. Um, for all the things that um, Dr. Gregory Holmes described about your contributions to myasthenias gravis, the contributions you've made to your college and the department, the legacy that you're going to provide for Chip Howard in uh, the naming of this with he and Ricky. We are so proud of you, and we hope you will wear this medallion with pride. It's to be worn when you go through graduation, and really um, always a wonderful legacy of the Howard. So congratulations. So we want to give Mike a chance um, to say a few words about the importance of this endowed professorship. Wow, um, what an honor. Um, thank you um, most especially um, uh, to the Howard family for um, this amazing um, gift that you've given to the college um, and to the university. Thank you to um, President Garamella, Provost Prelock, Dean Page, who's on the video, Dr. Holmes. Um, I'm really honored to stand before all of you as the inaugural recipient of the James F. Howard Jr. Professorship in Neuromuscular Disorders. Um, the incredible generosity of the Howard family to provide UVM with the gift to support the professorship ensures that neuromuscular medicine will remain strong in the state of Vermont for many years. The Howards, who are both alumni of UVM, could have chosen to give this money to a number of universities, but they chose to support our program here in Vermont. And I believe that a gift like this one has the potential to be so much more impactful in a small state like ours than a bigger one like New York. It will help us to continue to punch above our weight, as a good friend of mine likes to say, here in Vermont. For those of you in the audience who may not be as familiar with the specialty of neuromuscular medicine, we are a specialty within neurology and physical medicine and rehabilitation focused on the care of patients um, with conditions that affect their peripheral nerves, their muscles, and the connections between the two. Most of these conditions are rare and include genetic conditions like muscular dystrophies, autoimmune conditions like myasthenia gravis, peripheral neuropathies, and degenerative conditions like ALS. The commonality of these conditions is that they result in dysfunction in some of our most important tasks, 
that make us human, like walking, like eating and speaking, and they cause great disability. Fortunately, our field is in the middle of an explosion of new treatments, ranging from new immune system medications for myasthenia gravis, many of which are now on the market thanks to the hard work of Dr. Howard, to gene editing and modulating therapies for conditions like Duchenne muscular dystrophy, myotonic dystrophy, and other genetic conditions. There is now enormous hope for our patients with previously untreatable conditions. Due to the work of smart researchers and philanthropic gifts like the one we are celebrating today. There's a strong tradition of excellence in neuromuscular neuro neurology here at UVM. Dr. Wally Bradley was the previous chair of our department, was the founding editor of Muscle and Nerve, one of the leading neuromuscular publications in the world. He was followed by Dr. Rup Tandon, who is vice chair of the department and head of neuromuscular medicine, built an incredible ALS and muscular dystrophy program here, advanced our research, uh, our research footprint in neuromuscular and served as associate editor of Muscle and Nerve. I was so very honored to take over the neuromuscular division chief position from Dr. Tandon. In my time leading neuromuscular, our team has continued to grow. As of August, we'll have six excellent neuromuscular physicians whose clinical and research interests complement each other and allow us to work on these rare neuromuscular disorders. Our multidisciplinary clinics remain strong and our research footprint covers the breadth of neuromuscular medicine. Our neuromuscular fellowship has been recruiting from a diverse applicant pool across the United States and Canada for the last five years. We average 15 applicants for our one slot and we're helping to educate the next generation of neuromuscular physicians. My hope is that we might be able to grow this program over time, maybe to two, we'll see. Personally, um, this, is, this is incredibly meaningful to me, the Howard professorship. I've had the good fortune to know Dr. Howard for the last decade as a colleague, mentor, and as a friend. Dr. Howard and I are both alumni of the neurology training program at the University of Virginia, where residents and fellows are taught to build careers that involve excellence in clinical care, scholarship, and teaching. Dr. Howard's research in myasthenia gravis has led to the development and now approval of many new treatments for patients, and the impact has been incredible over the last five years. My research in myasthenia over the last few years has focused on how to compare these new medicines to each other and to more traditional treatments based on the burden of side effects. Under the tutelage of my late mentor, Dr. Ted Burns at the University of Virginia, we developed a novel physician and patient weighted unit called the adverse event unit to compare treatments for neurological conditions based on side effect burden. In the future, we believe treatment choice and value will be determined by differences in side effect burden, financial cost, and logistics. With the support of UVM, the American Academy of Neurology, the Myasthenia Gravis Foundation, we've begun to validate the AEU and myasthenia. Our unit is currently being translated into Chinese for application in Beijing, and we have an NIH application pending. Uh, we also hope to move this project and concept into other subspecialties in neurology who are similarly undergoing an explosion in therapeutics. I believe the Howard professorship will be instrumental in continuing this important work. I also hope that the professorship will help us to pursue new avenues of research, such as beginning to address oculopharyngeal muscular dystrophy, a rare muscular dystrophy with a high prevalence in the French Canadian population. One of my new colleagues in the audience today, Dr. Isaac Hoff, is planning to start to build up our MD research program. Finally, it is beyond important to acknowledge the many people who have helped me be successful and to be able to stand up here today. Academic medicine is a team sport. Nobody um, achieves success in academics without help. First, I wanna thank my family for their unwavering support and guidance. My wife, Denise, a pediatrician, has always been my constant source of support and trusted advisor. My kids, Sophie and Caroline, remind me of the most important lessons in life. And my parents and in-laws who are all here today instill great values and a strong work ethic. 
And finally, to our neuromuscular team and the Department of Neurology team here at UVM, uh, we couldn't achieve anything without you. Thank you to Dr. Hamill and Dr. Tandon for taking a chance and recruiting me here to Vermont. Thank you to Dr. Holmes for supporting my academic interests and the academic interests of the other clinician scientists in our department as chair. Thank you to Drs. Noah Kolb and Wakar Wahid for collaborating with me over the last few years on our MG projects and for being amazing colleagues and friends. Thank you to our amazing neuromuscular fellows who choose to train here in Vermont and for reminding us about the importance of our growing field. And thank you to our nurses, medical assistants, research coordinators, administrators, and all the people who support our neuromuscular program for the Vermont region. We have such an amazing team in Vermont, one that I believe provides our patients with the highest level of academic medical care and our trainees with a first-rate education. Once again, thank you to the Howard family for supporting this professorship in neuromuscular medicine in the Vermont region. We will work hard to be good stewards of this gift and hope to make you proud. Thank you. Thank you so much, um, Mike, for your great words, your collaborative nature, your spirit for caring for um, patients and the research that you do. So we would like Chip and Ricky to join us, if you wouldn't mind. Dr. and Mrs. Howard, your generosity um, has made this endowed professorship possible, and it will stand as an enduring legacy to your commitments to improving the lives of patients and their families throughout the region and the world beyond, in keeping with the missions of the university and the Larner College of Medicine. Please accept this duplicate of the medallion we have just presented to Dr. Hare. We hope it will serve as a tangible reminder of how grateful we are all for your family's extraordinary contributions. Thank you. Would you like to say a few words? I'd now like to invite Dr. Howard to say a few words. In a few words, it will be President Garamella, Provost Prelock, Dean Page, Greg, Michael, friends and family. Mike has stolen many of my words. Neurology is a very small discipline. Neuromuscular medicine is a microcosm. And every one of us know every other person. Um, legacies are built through who you know, who mentors you, and the relationships that occur over the years. It goes back to 74, 75, uh, Steve Friedman in anatomy, Rod Parsons here, who started me thinking on scientific critical assessments and how we do research. It was T.R. Johns at the University of Virginia that Greg knows, Greg and I were residents together. This world is so small. Dr. Professor Kolb here at the university, his father was my first fellow uh, in neuromuscular medicine. But it's these interrelationships that allow you to build the programs that we have to establish the interconnections that allow your own personal growth, as well as the growth of your mentees uh, that occur. And as a relative of one of my patients said, uh, Erskine Bowles, he had a whole list of do's and don'ts uh, to be good stewards in society. And one was to refill the wood pile. And that's what we're doing. We're giving back to refill the wood pile for you to continue to mentor, 
to continue to make the advances that we have in our little teeny, teeny disease that has become huge and transformational to our patients. And so we appreciate the opportunity. Um, most of the thanks, though, goes to my family. Yeah. <laughs> um, without the support of my wife, my kids, um, because I was wedded to this place, to my hospitals, um, this would never have occurred. So thank you. You have a big job ahead of you. Um, I know you'll do proud. So thank you all. Thank you so much. You started talking about Ricky and you got me all emotional. Mm -hmm. But isn't it, it's the partners we have in life and in our professional career that help us succeed and really move forward. So thank you for your inspiration and for being such an amazing mentor. And now you have big shoes to fill, Mike, but I know you can do it. Um, as we reach the end of our program, I'd like to thank our speakers um, who've joined us this afternoon and, and say again how deeply grateful we are to um, both Chip and Ricky for their generous support for our university, for the UVM Medical Center, and for our College of Medicine. Uh, this professorship will certainly ensure that our investment in the health in this region, and particularly myasthenia gravis, is never forgotten. We all take pride every day in the important research that we do. As um, President Garamella said, we've been able to increase that research tremendously, and it's because we have such incredible colleagues in the Larner College, College of Medicine that have a catalyst to cause everybody else on campus to say we need to step it up. So, so much of the work that they do is enriched through the support of our donors, including many people right in this room and the the chairs before Dr. Greg Holmes, so thank you. Um, and I know for all of you who are watching live stream and Rick, it's not the same without you, but hopefully we did okay. A little mess up on the citation, but we'll make sure Mike gets a copy of that citation. Thank you so much for attending the investiture. Hopefully you'll just hang out and celebrate Mike, his family, um, Ricky and Chip, and um, thank you all for joining us and enjoy the refreshments. Have a great day.